Well, students have been back in school for a couple of weeks now, and many districts are already dealing with a spike in COVID cases. One of those districts is Fort Zumwalt in St. Charles County, where hundreds of students are in quarantine right now. Five on your side's Alex Feast today talked with a superintendent there about how administrators are handling it. Fort Zumwalt is a school district that updates COVID information right on its website. It breaks it down by school. For instance, Darden Elementary has three students currently on full COVID quarantine. Tuesday morning, the district as a whole had 393 students on COVID quarantine. That's resulted in the 400 students quarantine. That's about uh, 400 students, about 2.5% of our uh, 17,500 uh, students. So the percentage is not uh, outrageous at this point. Uh, numbers, anytime a kid's not allowed to go to school, you're worried about that. Fort Zumwalt is a district that does not have a mask mandate. And Alex, a mask mandate doesn't mean kids can't wear a mask because we do have plenty of kids that are wearing masks that their, their parents are uh, encouraging them to do that. I asked Fort Zumwalt parents what kind of a job they think administrators are doing when it comes to combating COVID. Kids are still up in the air on what to do and what not to do. And um, I think, you know, communications have been fairly good, but they don't really know what's going on. You know, it's kind of a day-to-day, -day, you know, flavor of the day type thing. They're trying to do the best they can. But with things changing, you know, it's, it is what it is. Poorly. I think there should be a mask mandate for all the students and the teachers. Um, I have a high schooler. She's a senior, and I'm very worried that she's at risk every time she walks in that school. Alex Fees, five on your side. Since this morning, the number of quarantine students at Fort Zumwalt has increased to more than 460. There have been nearly 90 positive cases among students in the district. The superintendent says about 40% of quarantine students did have close contact with somebody who has COVID outside of school.